Accessorizing your motorcycle, sometimes it is money well spent, and other times it can feel like you might as well have just thrown that cash in the garbage. Welcome back to my channel, folks. So like most motorcycle owners, I've spent some time and money accessorizing my Harley-Davidson Pan America, but it hasn't always worked out as well as I had hoped. One of the first things I got for this bike were handlebar risers. Especially as a shorter rider, I wanted to bring the bars closer to me to reduce my forward lean when riding the bike. Now at the time, there were only three options out there for handlebar risers. The first being the Harley-Davidson uh, two-inch extended risers, which of course were back-ordered at the time. Uh, but there were some clones of those risers available on eBay from overseas sellers. And Rox also had a set of their pivoting risers that were designed for some Indian motorcycles that also happened to fit on the Pan America. I decided to go with the eBay clones. Um, one, because they were available, and two, they were pretty cheap. They were only about 50 bucks, so if I ended up not liking them, it wasn't really a big loss. And as it would turn out, I didn't really like them. The riding posture was a little bit better, uh, still not quite what I was looking for, but the deal breaker for me was that they blocked the lower portion of the screen from view when you were riding. A few months after I had gotten those risers, A1 Cycles released their pullback risers, which raised the bars up two inches, but also brought them back uh, an inch closer to the rider. Got a set of those, and I must say that they were much, much better. A much more comfortable riding position for me, and they did not block any part of the screen. So if you haven't seen it yet, I actually did a full review and comparison uh, of those risers and showed what the riding posture looked like with two different sized riders. So if you're interested in uh, moving your bars closer to you, be sure to check out that video. So next on my list for making the bike a bit more comfortable was the seat. For me, the stock seat just seemed to give up providing good support after a couple of hours. And due to the shape of the stock seat, it would dig into the underside of my thighs after a while as well. Once Harley-Davidson released their Sundowner seats for the Pan America, I decided to give those a try. Now overall, the Sundowner seat was a lot more comfortable for me than the stock seat. It offered good support, didn't give up uh, on a long ride, didn't dig into my thighs. But the main issue I had with that seat was that it had a forward lean to it, and that coupled with the smooth vinyl that they used to upholster it, I found myself sliding forward on the bike as I would ride, and I'd constantly be shimmying and pushing myself back, you know, where I wanted to be. Now, I did keep the Sundowner seat for a while, um, but eventually decided to look and try something else. Mean City Cycles, they're a shop in North Carolina, here in the U.S., that will rebuild your stock motorcycle seat. Uh, with memory foam according to your preferences and specifications. I've had them redo the seat that's on my Road King uh, several years ago and I've been very pleased with how that turned out. And as luck would have it, the owner of Mean City Cycles uh, had bought himself a Harley Pan America and now had experience in rebuilding the Pan America seat to be more comfortable as well. The end result for me was a seat that was comfortable to be on all day long, never gave up providing good support, uh, didn't have any hot spots or pressure points, and did not have any lean and did not have me sliding forward uh, into the tank anymore. Now, I did not do a full review of the Mean City Cycle seat because each one is going to be made a little bit different depending on Again, your particular uh, specifications, you know, they're going to take into account your weight. They're going to take into account if you want your riding position changed at all, if you want to be moved forward or back or lowered at all, you know, depending on uh, what they can do with the shape of that seat. And then as well as your preference for, do you like something a little bit firmer? Do you want something to be softer and more plush, right? So each seat's going to turn out a little bit different depending on what you're looking for. 
But I will say that I have had them modify the seats for, this is the third bike that I've had them do uh, over the years, and each time I've been very pleased with the end result. So definitely recommend checking them out if you're looking to get your stock seat made more comfortable, as opposed to spending you know, more money on an aftermarket seat. They can also custom do a new cover for your seat as well. If you want something you know, a bit more custom looking, I opted to have them just reuse the factory cover for the time being. Now the Harley Pan America makes an excellent touring machine, uh, except for the fact that it does not come with any luggage. Now there's you know, some luggage options out there, both from Harley and now aftermarket as well. I actually ordered the Harley Davidson Sport side cases the same day that I took delivery of this bike back in the summer of 2021. But just like everything else, they were back ordered a bit. I had to wait several months before they finally came in. If you haven't seen it already, I did do a pretty comprehensive review of the sport side cases. Um, but to quickly summarize, I was kind of underwhelmed. They were okay. I initially went with them uh, because I thought they looked decent in the pictures. They looked good on the bike. Um, and they were a good bit cheaper than going with the aluminum cases from Harley at the time. But after having them for a while, I just was kind of underwhelmed with the overall fit and finish and the quality of the cases. You'll notice in my video review that I did have one of the bags leaking a good bit of water. The dealer did take care of that for me, um, showed them that it was leaking water and they covered that under warranty, replaced the whole case. Pretty painless process, only took a couple of weeks. However, uh, a while later, this happened to one of the cases. The opening mechanism got jammed up internally. And so now essentially the bag was stuck closed uh, you know, unless I wanted to risk breaking it, you know, further to get it open. Luckily, I didn't have anything in the side case when this happened. So back to the dealer to do another warranty claim, uh, but this one did not go so smooth. Even though at the time, uh, these bags were available for purchase, if you wanted to purchase a set of them, for whatever reason, they were out of stock for being covered under a warranty replacement. I had a lot of back and forth between the dealer and Harley customer care. Nobody really gave me a straight answer. And long story short, it was going to be several months, um, I think like six or seven months before I would get that bag replaced. In the meantime, I had already added my Moscomoto tank bag here on the bike. And I was just super impressed with the overall quality and features of this bag that I decided to go with the Moscomoto Backcountry 35 liter soft bags for the bike as well. I did get the Harley Davidson luggage racks uh, in order to connect those bags to. And again, just really impressed overall with the quality of the materials and how well the bags were constructed. I was actually kind of on the fence of doing soft luggage or hard luggage. So I kind of did a combination. I added a Givi 36 liter uh, top case to the bike that just snaps on to their luggage rack. And I actually tend to ride the bike with just that Givi top case on the bike for the most part. Uh, plenty of room to keep extra face shields, extra set of gloves, uh, you know, some liners for my riding gear, rain gear, things like that. And then if I'm doing a trip or if I know I need some more storage uh, for a particular ride, the soft bags go on and off very, very quickly and easily. So I hope you found this informative, insightful, particularly if you've watched my reviews of the sport side cases or the sundowner seat and were wondering why I don't have those on the bike anymore and why I went the directions that I did uh, with my Pan America. As always, thanks for watching. Ride safe.